week. So here to help us with some tips on how to make our holidays the best ever is one of the co-hosts of one of my favorite shows, The Chew. Say hello to Clinton Kelly. Hey, sweetheart. So wonderful to see you. So. Are your shallots burning? My shallots are burning. They, they, they're burned, but screw them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. what are three tips on making it the best Thanksgiving ever? All right, I think, first of all, to take the stress off your table, set your table the night before. That's really important. Just get it done so you don't have to do it on Thanksgiving Day. Also, put all your platters out so that you know that you have enough room on the table for everything. Yeah. Um, the other thing I would say is get, release the need to be perfect. You know, you don't need to do That's grandma's china setting for 20 and everything has to be matchy, matchy, matchy. Yes. Mix it match your plates, have a good time with These it. are um, Clinton's line, by the way, at Macy's. They're dishwasher safe, I already checked. Yes, they are. And microwave yeah. Okay, so what are we making first, and why does this turkey look so juicy, unlike the ones that I make? I know, you have a thing about dry turkey. Do you have a thermometer? No, but I'll get one. You need one. That's the thing. Okay. You have to take that turkey out of the oven when it hits 160 degrees because it will continue cooking after you take it out. It will go up to 165, which is where you want it. If you go above 165 to 170, 180, you're going to have a dry Am I allowed to say that? Really? Yeah. That's, a, that's a treat. And then what is all this deliciousness in here? So you can stuff the cavity with things like fresh herbs. We happen to have thyme and some lemon in here, and that perfumes the meat from the inside. So you the, get more flavor. the stuffing is not in there? The stuffing is not in there. If you cook the stuffing, uh -huh. if you put it on the inside, then you have to get the whole bird really hot to make sure that the stuffing is cooked to the right temperature. That makes the bird dry. So cook the stuffing on the side. Use lots of butter, and it won't be dry. All right, what is this? This is a French 75. Cheers. This is my new favorite cocktail. It is a little bit of gin and some simple syrup. And some lemon juice. You know, like? You don't no, like it? it's gin and juice first thing in the morning. It's gin and juice. <laughs> okay, now you have. Mm, it's, and there's champagne in it, too. It's delicious. Mm. Listen, this is one of my least favorite things. Why should I like this? The cranberry sauce? Oh, I can't. It's bitter. Oh, I want you to try my cranberry sauce. Okay. All right, so, this, my cranberry sauce has a secret ingredient, which is mango. Okay, so. Okay. Uh huh. I've been cooking a lot with mango lately because they're available year round. They taste delicious. They're super low in calories. It makes a, a tart fruit palatable. You are you're, uh, palatable. I, I love oh, it. that's high praise. There. No, Thanks, no, but, I love it. This, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, good. All right. So this is, it's so easy to make. I actually use canned cranberry sauce, the whole sauce, uh, the whole uh, berry sauce, a little bit of orange juice, a little orange zest, some, um, um, some mango, and some ground ginger and cinnamon, a touch of salt. And you look at, you're eating all this that. This is the way you do it. All right, great. I'm glad you like it. Okay. Come on. Really high in vitamin C, those mangoes, too. Okay, this is a scalloped sweet potato. You probably had potatoes gratin before. Yes. This is a sweet potato gratin, which is really no fail. You just make a, a cream sauce with cheese with some gruyere and some cream, and you melt that down with some salt and pepper, and then you have your sweet potatoes, which you just layer like so. You peel them and you slice them into uh, about one eighth this of an inch is rounds. And then what you do is then you just keep layering the sauce. And this, okay, and then you put mm. more cheese on top, some Parmesan wow. cheese. You put that in the oven for a little over an hour, and it comes out looking like this. It's a maze. Very, it's a nice presentation. You know what? The sweet of the sweet potato combined with the um, the tangy of the cheese. It's like a party in my mouth. It's a party in your mouth. Okay, all right. So okay. Good. All right, and then the next thing I brought for you Come are my, my my shallots burned, but then let's pretend that they didn't. All okay. right. So, uh, but they burn because they've been cooking in bacon fat. <laughs> okay. Yum. So you take a half pound of bacon, cut it up, and then you reserve about a tablespoon of the bacon fat. Take the bacon outside, um, and then you put a, a shallot chopped up into that bacon fat, and then you let that cook until translucent, not Brussels until it's golden brown. Brussels sprouts are like only that. my favorite vegetable. Ever. Ever? Uh, yeah. So these are half blanched Brussels sprouts, uh -huh. okay? And then you put those back into the bacon fat with the shallot, get them really nice and brown and crispy. Then you put the bacon back in. Now that bacon looks like some real thick country bacon. Mm, that's the best kind of bacon, mm -hmm. the thick kind. And then you cook this down until it's about here. And then what you're going to do is just take a little bit of balsamic vinegar, a oh. tablespoon of that. And that adds a little bit okay. of brightness and acidity to the whole thing. And then you take some Parmesan cheese. Oh! And then you sprinkle that on top. And then here you go, have another little bowl Listen, off to the side um, for you. I'm going to make. I'm going to be making that. I definitely want your cranberry sauce, and I want this right here, and I'm going to do what you said with this turkey. You're, All oh. these recipes are available at wendyshow.com. Clinton, hold on. Of course, delish. You love it, right? <laughs> Clinton's got a new book. It's called Freaking Fabulous on a Budget. It's in stores now. Everyone in our studio audience is going home with their copy. Yeah! Ask Wendy is next.
make your feed a little more fabulous. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for hot topic updates, candid pictures, and of course, behind the scenes dish. Get in on the conversation today.